So after cycling for another 100 km from Skoda, finally I have reached Tirana. It was actually a very long journey to be fair cause today the sun and rain switched around quite often and sometimes it was sunny and rainy at the same time as well. At the same time the wind was blowing to the north while I was cycling from the north all the way to the south which was totally opposite to the direction of the wind and I'm pretty sure that it's not something that you could like to suffer for a 100km journey. But never mind, now let's go and explore Tirana together! So this is the Skanderberg Square, the main square in the heart of Tirana. George Kastriot, also known as Skanderberg, was an Albanian nobleman and military commander. This monument was built to commemorate him, the national hero of Albania for resisting the Ottomans. Besides the monument of Skanderberg, there are other things to exploit this way as well. From Skanderberg Square, at the other end of Boulevardi Deshmorek Kambit, you can find the Mother Teresa Square, the second largest square in Albania. It is surrounded by a lot of universities, museums and also Kenma Staffa Stadium. I'm now standing at the Polytechnic University and the view to the square and the boulevard is awesome guys! The collapse of communism in Albania happened during the early 1990s and you are still be able to see the consequences of communism even just few hundred meters from the city centre in Tirana. Tirana also has a very big park located at the south of the city, with an area of around nearly 300 hectares. The Grand Park of Tirana, also known as the Park on the Artificial Lake, is one of the most relaxing places in the city. And as you can see, there are a lot of people going for a run or jogging around in the morning. Tirana is the most populous city in Albania with the population of nearly 400,000 people. This has led to the huge amount of traffic in the capital city all the time during the day and there are police everywhere to direct the traffic from very early morning at like 6am until late evening. You can see that even on the rainy days, the police are still working very hard to make sure the flow of traffic goes smoothly. So much respect for these Albanian police guys.
So every journey must end at some point, and today is the tenth day of my trip. So I'm taking the Rinas Express at the moment to Tirana International Airport to catch my flight back to the UK at half ten this morning. So thank you again, Armenia, for giving me such a great and unforgettable experience. Due to the limited time in Tirana, I haven't been able to explore the other outskirts parts of Tirana, and I quite regretted it. But I'll take this as a reason to come back and explore Albania more next time. See you again very soon, the amazing Albania.